Well, be- he's made 82000 and change playing Madden this year. He's got DRC and Dion in the secondary. And I'd like to see him get more aggressive with those guys out of his dollar defense. He didn't blitz them a lot. I'd like to see him send some more pressure. Moss, Ocho, Cinco do not have the playmaker ability active, but they still get busy. Donovan McNabb has the gunslinger ability, but he's also mobile and can scramble. I'd like to see Dubby use that in his offense a little bit because, as Rico said, it's looked a bit sketchy thus far. So these guys live about 80 miles apart. Figgy is in less uh, Lancaster County in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's Amish country, my friend. I can guarantee you Figgy is the best Madden player in Lancaster. He's the next kingpin. Remember that the <laughs> yes, Woody Harrelson? <laughs> no, but seriously, I love what Figgy represents. Here is a young man that didn't make any of our live events this year. However, he still made it to the final 32 through online participation and then winning those big challenger events in Vegas. So he represents that there are many different avenues here to the final 32. And just because you didn't make a live event doesn't mean you can make it, can't make it here to play for some big bucks. Just coming off a big win over Jay Mills. Let's take a look at his money picks. Dion, and there is the former Gamecock, Jadavion Clowney. Yeah, that Clowney is a monster. They like to put him on the D-line. He block sheds and he pass rushes like a beast. Jerry Rice to 95 overall with the playmaker ability that is active. Randy Moss, deja vu. We see him all over the place. And Aaron Rodgers, the conductor that can make quick adjustments at the line of scrimmage. Remember, he can make two hot routes in between cadence animations instead of just one. So Dubby's number three in the world against number 30. And here we can have our scouting report coming your way from our good friends at Xbox. Okay, for Dubby, show them that you're the king of Philly. Remember, we got our boy Figgy from Lannister, Pennsylvania. Though he's wearing a Patriots jersey, he's a diehard Eagles fan, and he says he's coming for that Philly respect. Dubby right now, the face of Philly, you better continue to hold it down for that state that you love so much. So what does Figgy got to do to have a chance in this one? For Figgy, you just need to play your game. Don't let the big lights get to you. You've beaten Dubby before. Though you have an 8-14 and 14 record versus him, that you've beaten him 8 times. You are capable of doing this. You won one of the toughest tournaments there was to win this entire year. Believe in yourself. Don't let the lights get the best of you and get the job done. Dubby, 29 years old. Figgy, 19. 10 years younger. That's a decade. And here we go. This is big. This is Big Scott Dubby playing for his Madden Championship life after having such a successful year this year. He's already banked $82,000 trying to add to that number, but first he needs to get past Angel Figuerello. Yeah, he's earned $80,000. Figgy's earned $8,700. Still, big game. Graham, big hit to start this one. Second and five. Yeah, both players wanted to wear the Eagles jerseys in this game. Only one of them was allowed. I believe Dubby was able to get them due to seniority. He said 10-year elder. Yeah. Former champion. And ranking. He's number three. No number 30s coming in and taking your Eagles away, I can tell you that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Seniority. Well, if he can knock Dubby out and move on in the groups, you might see him rocking the green and black the rest of the way. First and ten. Rodgers rolling out. You, Throws an interception wow. to Dion. And Dubby says, thank you. Let's go, man. Oh, and that is a good Come point on, by Dub Dot Dubby. We didn't even talk about that top cold five, train. Top five, top five. He, Dubby practiced with Skimbo on a daily basis. One thing that Figgy told us was people call him young Skimbo because they play so similar. So you have to assume Dubby is going to be very well prepared for the plays that Figgy is going to throw, throw at him due to how much he plays Skimbo on a regular basis. Early turnover. Can Dubby make him pay? Good job on the back end. Bryankins able to break that one up. The X Factor. For those that are interested, we have Dubby running the Green Bay Packers offense with the Eagles defense, Figgy in the Denver offense with the Oakland defense. I'm very interested, and I would like to subscribe to your newsletter as he takes it to the 43-yard line. Third and five. Boy, Figgy needs a stop here. 
Yes, and Tubby needs points here. Yeah. This is big all around because you don't want to force a turnover off rip, open up the uh, game, get a bunch of momentum, but not capitalize off of it. So this is a big down all around right here, Coltrane. Figgy one and one, Dubby zero oh and two, still alive though. Good and Ricky Williams oh, oh takes it to the 30-yard line. That's a good route. That angle route out of the backfield has been a staple in Madden for years. You don't see a lot of users throw that anymore to do to how good people are at lurk in the middle of the field. But Dubby catches Figgy off guard, makes a good read. And Ricky runs away from the user. Down to the 21. Zach, what's going on with Hollywood? There's so much hanging over here. You're looking live. Hollywood's got a second in itches down at the 26. Mills on defense. Hollywood's offense has been strong all day. It's one of the reasons he's 2-0. and oh. So many points he's put up. He drops that one, though. Scott, I'll keep you guys up to date on all the scoring. That's a big part of this group stage, what happens in that game. Yes, yes, all around. But right now, all you got to be focused in as the task at hand, and that's winning by as many points as possible. For Holly, it's just making sure you get the W. But yeah, everyone else. He's the only one that can control his own destiny with a win. Yes, everybody else looking for help out here, Coltrane. So second and two from the 11, Dubby on his opening drive after an interception by Deion Sanders. McNabb will take off. Got to be careful there. Almost coughed up the pumpkin on the tackle by Clowney, third and one. And you see something he likes. You usually don't go hurry up in these third and short situations, Coltrane, unless you saw something you really liked. B, wide open. Doesn't throw it, goes back to Y, and he breaks the plane for the touchdown. Ocho Cinco. That was nasty by Dubson. He would have looked me off right there, Coltrane. And I thought just like he looked off Figgy. Figgy left the left side of the field, went to go guard that right side of the field. You see him going to guard B, and then there is that deep in, wide open. That was great read progression by Dub.W right there. Reading is important, kids. Very important. So a touchdown lead, Figgy. Now needs to go back to work through an INT on his first possession. And now you got to answer. You're down a possession and you're down seven. Down seven, but he's still bobbing his head, wrapping on himself like he's up seven. Figgy's morale's not impacted right now. So Dubby needs a Hollywood win. And then point ball, differential man. will come into play. We'll talk about that a little bit as this we game moves on. We're going to get the football, baby. We're going to get the football, baby. Second and four. Get out we your T85 calculators. Football, get scientific with it. We're going to get the throw. football, baby. We're going to get the football, baby. So third and four after the risky pass right, right, right. from Figgy. Figgy bobbing his head with some intensity. Baby. Needs to bring some of that intensity to this offense. This time he's going to pick up the first down, the and football, maybe baby. that will relax him. Zach, what's going on with Hollywood and Mills? He cannot punch it in down in the red zone on third and seven. Has to settle for the field goal. Mills down 3-0 to Holly. So Hollywood trying to go to 3-0 in the group. He's winning 3-0. And it's worth noting, Figgy's first time here on the big stage. First time in our featured game. Say what you want, but that factors in. And that's what was one of the keys to the game, Coltrane. We told them, just they come out here and play your game. We've seen it happen time and time again to players where they're super comfortable with playing Madden, but as soon as they get up here on the big stage and there's a camera in your face and thousands of people watching, buckleage soon ensues. Third and two. Delayed slant, covered up by Skimbo. Able to move him upfield. Nice playmaker. He was going to that delayed slant, and he just playmaker Jerry Rice up the field for the first down. That's why it's so important to have that ability active, Coltrane. It lets you ad-lib once the play breaks down. But again, that's not ability that comes free. You have to spend five cap to activate that. Well worth it. Just ask Hollywood. Because it was the playmakering in that nah, game that abused Dubby. Yeah, thing. and the interesting but thing is he's getting abused by it. But Dubby choose to disable the playmaker, and he doesn't have it active. Though he has receivers that are eligible to use it, he decided not to pay that cap. Hey, go, Vernon. If Vernon, want to play the third decision. game, Vernon? And you want to play the third game, Vernon? David I appreciate Johnson. you. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> he's talking to his players, man. Make a play, Vernon. Let's go. 
A spent cap on you. I need you to do your job and make something happen. That's Olivier Vernon. I think I call him Oliver earlier. My apology to the, the Vernon crew. Olivier Oliver, very similar. O Vernon. O Vernon. And that'll be the final play of the quarter. Is Dubby singing Raiden rising Listen, a little bit here? He's got mixing. a little bit more tune to himself you know this time. He's trying to get into the you know 60s, 60 I'll overall. Smoke when I'll tell you what, you win 100K, that's a lot of voice lessons. Mind, I'll go hippie, peace sign in the air like I'm mixing, I'm mixing. Not bad. I think I heard Joe mixing in there. Third and ten. Goes to Moss. Moss will pick up the first down, and Figgy's in the red zone. Blowing up. We need the whole team. Blowing up. Music, such a factor at the Madden Championship. Look at Figgy snapping himself, bobbing his head, getting in the groove. Dubby getting the vocals going. Pull a little Belinda Carlisle in your... Uh in your eight track there? You need to stop just throwing <laughs> out names, Cole Craig, because half the time I'm going to have no idea who we're talking about here. RG grew up on Madden, not music. Absolutely. <laughs> Too busy watching the Red Sox, Celtics, Patriots, Bruins, playing Madden, staying out of trouble. Larry Bird is not walking through that locker room. Easy, easy, Third easy. and ten. We do have IT, though. He's been playing pretty good. Yeah, he's looking very uh -oh, tough. Let's Oh, no! What a Needle. touchdown! Needle threaded. Oh my goodness, you said it, Coltrane. Look at this window. He has to throw that in. It looks like it's going to get yicked by Dubby, but the GOAT Jerry Rice makes a goatyish catch right there. And Dubby's going to have to shake that one off. That could have went either way. That's a frustrating situation for the Dubson. That's not what I needed. That's well, he goes needed. down 7 to nothing. He puts together a 12-play, 74-yard drive, takes up three minutes of the clock, and Figgy is in this one. And that's what we're talking about. Don't let the lights get to you. You came out, you got uh, through an interception early on on your first drive. Well, he gets out of the 44-yard line. Good return. Zach, let's go to you, my man. Got General Mills on the march over here, down into the red zone, cashes in and goes up 7-3 over Hollywood. General Mills getting Rice Crispy with a touchdown. General Mills, Bandana Mills. That's yours. That's whatever you want to call him. I got mine either. Meek you got Mills. Oh, you see that? Right there, Figgy talking to W a little bit. Felt like he should have got an interception. Goes both ways. Second and seven for W. Dubby's got to watch this crossing route deep over here. Has Moss wide open. Now you could just throw it down the sideline for a big game, no big deal. Down to the 27, first and 10. Dubby's in business. Look at that hat. He's got his patented phrase right on his hat to need it. It's a phrase that Dub Dubby's made famous amongst the Madden community. Well, he's 0 and 2. Needs a W. Bosa. And there is Bosa. You heard Figgy say it. There's the block shed. And we've been talking about Bosa <laughs> all tournament long. If you're still at home playing Ultimate Team and you want to try out what the pros are doing, you better go to that auction house. Go get yourself a Joey Bosa, a Randy Moss, and an Ocho Cinco. Do your best dub dot dubby. It Most doesn't matter what impression. defense you run, dollar, four, six, nickel. If you got a Joey Bosa, he's going to have a few block sheds in there. And there's Cook. Five, That's the good thing about that item, Scott, is yeah. you kind of get him, you throw him in a blitz assignment, and that's no all there deal. is to it. Nothing Leave else. him be. Yeah, absolutely. This time he can't get to the quarterback, so Cook able to shake one for the first down. Tubby's in the red zone in a 7-7 game with 2.25 left in the half. This is game number three. Dubby needs a win and some help from Hollywood. Uh -oh. And Ricky will die for the touchdown, and he's in. What a way to respond for Dub Dub Dubby. Figgy marches down the field, puts together a crispy drive of his own, gets a little bit lucky, throwing into coverage, and Dubson doesn't care about your luck. He responds right back, gets it to Ricky Williams. Beautiful, crispy stick work right here. And look at the legend just fall forward over the goal line for six. So now it's a touchdown game with 2.17 to go in the half. Figgy's got to answer. Let me tell you why, because Dubby gets the ball to start half number two. 
Yes, that is very true. And one thing you know is Dubby's going to try to put on as many points as he can because point differential going to be a factor here. We'll get you all the numbers, but I believe Hollywood has to win, and then Dubby needs to win by at least touchdown or more. Six points is what he's going to need. So Dubby needs help from Holly with the yep. win. And then win by a touchdown. He's up by seven right now. Six points is the actual number. So assuming Holly beat Mills, and if this game ended right now, Dubby advances. But the game doesn't end right now. We got a long way to go, partner. Second and three. Go DJ. To the 38. I would make a musical reference, but you don't even know Go DJ. You don't even know Little Wayne. I know Wayne. Come on now, now don't get too hard. <laughs> Here's the thing. Through the ball. Is I'm starting to learn more of the names ever since I've been accurate interacting with some yeah. of these young guys. Like I didn't know Little Uzi until last week. Yeah. What's it? Meek Mill. Yeah. Future Drake. Future's good. Kodak Black. That's another yep. one the kids all like. Got a free Kodak Black. Yeah, the sure. song with the Cash Me Outside girl. <laughs> Second and thirteen. Settle down, RG. The pass to Moss. And he gets to the 42. Let's go a game break with Zach. Well, Dubby needs Hollywood, and Hollywood gets him one. He goes up 10-7 in the red zone, six-yard touchdown. Boy, Hollywood's looked really good. I was wondering how he's going to fare against that blitz against Mills, but he's got a three-point lead right now. Yeah, he's a man on the mission. Rolling out to Rodgers, and he slides down at the 41. He does have plenty of time and plenty of timeouts. Yeah, he might want to start using some of those timeouts because that clock is ticking right now. Even three would be big. Needs points. Rodgers has some time. Here comes Ray, though. Ray is another guy that I've seen get some good block shed animations. Yeah, that's that gold 84 overall Shane Ray. He's a good budget player. Something that stood out to me right there on that play is Dubby had Ficky completely locked up, Scott, and you have to think that have to be has something to do with those all those reps he gets he gets versus Skimbo. He has seen this bunch offense so many times between Skimbo and Booms. Goes to the run. Goes to David Johnson. And I'm telling you what, he's only 19, but that was a veteran call to get in field goal range. Yeah, get yourself some points, especially with the point differential being as big as it is. Can he w hit this field goal? uses another timeout, so he'll have 25 seconds Baby, on the clock right now. Like 74 style. overall, Chris Boswell. So made a 51 yarder on the big stage for Figgy. Should be good. This Dubby can get a block. Boy, he's running this down. Yeah, you see him user controlling that guy. He's hoping to get through the line, get a block. And that is right. Bar. Tank your kicker if you want. What the what? Tank your kicker if you want. You hear Dubby saying, Tank your kick kicker, points, kicker points, if you points, want. Points, points, and points, Dubby points, points, talking about that yeah, 74 overall Chris Boswell that Figgy has, where Dubby spent a whole bunch of cap on Justin Tucker. And he's going to go to work. Ooh. And a nice deflection there, looking to Moss. Let's go to Zach with a quick game break. Scott, it's getting nuts over here. A punt return from Hollywood, runs backwards, gets caught up, strip, fumble for Mills. He scores, but not a touchdown. It's 14-10 Mills in this one. Cue the Benny Hill theme, getting crazy over there. Long on, bomb! Moss with a one-handed oh, grab down love. the 16. Let's go, man. Here's the problem is you don't see Fakey click on in this situation. Oh, he does, he does click, click on. on. I would like to see if he was holding the SWAT button right there because that's the only way to counteract that Moss. But even sometimes when you do that and you go up against the legend Randy Moss, there's just nothing you can do. And him having that final timeout Good helped score. out a lot. That's Good a six-point swing. That's how you win games if you're W. You go from potentially giving up three to end the half to yep. get in yourself three points. We saw Lowe's do something similar against Misery where he was able to stop Misery from getting points, got some points of his own, so he was able to win the ball game. That's a big swing. Now instead of it being a four-point game, now you got a 10-point lead, 17-7, to seven, and Dubby knows he needs it. And Dubby gets the ball. 
Gets the ball to start Starts the half. So up. everything is going the man from Philly's way. Let's take a little break. I need a break. Time for halftime with Dave and the gang. Thanks a lot, guys. Scott, we heard you say Group G for goons earlier. That is absolutely correct. Every game so far out of this group has been hell. Rico, what have you seen from Dubby? He's in a pretty good spot right now. I've seen Dubby be the player we thought he is. You see, he got his swagger back. He's got his enthusiasm back. He's jamming. He's passing. He's playing D. He's looking like the guy that won the Madden Bowl. And right now, Figgy, his uh, special teams are putting him out of a chance to move on to the next one. In I think he can get it straight for the second half. Maybe doesn't have enough time to left to go to the ground game, but does he have enough plays? The W deep field down throws, like he continuously is going for those. So if he can click on, get the SWAT, that could potentially slow down W. But this one is going to come down. This whole group is getting insane right now. Absolutely. Super, super tight. But now, no matter what happens in this game, W could win by a lot. He needs Hollywood to take care of business. Is that right, Zach? Needs it. Needs <laughs> it. And it's not happening right now. And that's very, very surprising. This game is going back and forth. Mills cashing in on a touchdown. Hollywood back in on a touchdown, but a huge fumble here on a punt return running backwards. Leads to a Mills TD, 14-10, right? But now Hollywood is back on the march before the half. He would actually go in. Hollywood is currently leading 17-14. So every time you look over here, it's like the weather in Boston. You don't like it? Wait five minutes, it'll change. That's what we got going on, and we're going to keep you guys up to date on all of that. Yes, we'll be plugged into both of these games as we get down to the end of Group G here. I want to remind all of you guys at home that if you're looking for tips and tricks to up your Madden game, well, you should follow Madden Ultimate Team on Twitter at EA Sports underscore Mutt. You can get the latest on new packs, giveaways, rewards, and a whole lot more. We are about to finish up Group G in the second half of Dubby versus Figgy, but Group H coming up later today, headlined by Bugs. Right now, we've got Drea on the field with Figgy. Thanks so much, Dave. Figgy, this is your first live event on the big stage. You're facing Dubby. How nervous were you before this matchup? I wasn't nervous at all. Not even a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm being honest. Wow, keeping it 100. All right. Well, the way that you qualified for this event was kind of an unconventional way. What do you want to say to the people at home that are watching that want to still get to the big stage even though they haven't played any other live events? The Challenger events, they, they really mean something. You got to do your best to get out to those. Even if they're not really in your area, you got to do your best to get out to those. I flew I flew all the way out from the East Coast mm -hmm. to Vegas, and that's pretty much why I'm here. So, mm -hmm. Got to do whatever it takes. Well, let's circle it back to this match. What biggest adjustments do you need to make in the second half to get back in this one? I'm, praying, I'm playing pretty bad defense, mm -hmm. and he's making like a mistake every once in a while. So hopefully I can capitalize on those mistakes and just play overall better defense. All right, well, best of luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Scott and RG. Thanks so much, Drea. Well, the second half here of game number three is going to close out Group G. It's been a heck of a group, RG. Yeah. How many Gs did I just say? <laughs> a lot of Gs right there. <laughs> RG. Yeah, yeah that's, that's another G. The thing is, you got to love that interview from Figgy. Though he doesn't have a lot of experience, his demeanor is calm, cool, and collected. He doesn't look too rattled by the event. He doesn't look too rattled by being down 10 points, and he's just focused on the task at hand. Even if this doesn't work out for him right now, the more experience that that kid gets, he is just going to continue to grow and become a force to be reckoned with in this community. So it's a 10-point game between these guys. Dubby needs Hollywood to win, and he also needs to win by at least six points. So that's the scenario right now. And if you're Figgy, you just need a comeback in this one. It's number three versus number 30. The guy that has won 80 racks against the guy that's won eight racks. <laughs> Figgy paying homage to those challenger events. Those are yep. underground tournaments that anybody could show up to, sanctioned by EA, and they were a good way for people to go and get series points. We've seen a couple players. That's the reason they're here, especially I... in that, that back half, like 24 on up. Yeah, hopefully now that people saw that, those challenger events were the difference in some people qualifying and not qualifying. I expect those to get a ton of support on next year's circuit. Yeah, something tells me there might be a few more. Yeah. And Madden 18, if this dream continues. Hope so. The throw. That is Johnson, and there is a little bit of playmaker. If you're Dub, you, you really want to. Dubby is smart, Coltrane. He is going to kill some clock in this situation. He's going to try to slow this game down a little bit, make sure he goes and gets some points. And you're up 10. You want this game to end as soon as possible, because right now you're covering the spread that you need to be covering. 
He's got those safeties up, just 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. And he goes to Ricky Williams. A good tackle from Dion. Zach, what's going on? Scott, so much action just before the half. We updated you on that Hollywood touchdown. Mills came back and got a field goal. And then Hollywood threw a pick on his opening drive. This one's at 17-17. A bananas game over there between Mills and Hollywood. We got a 10-point game here, Dubby with the lead. Yeah, move in, gets himself in the third and seven right here. This is a good chance for Figuerello to step up and make a play, get some momentum, Coltrane. We should know the final of that second game. Dubby needs Hollywood to win. So it's gonna get interesting when we get to the fourth quarter. Third and seven, McNabb throws it up. Knocked to the ground. Those are the passes that Figgy needs to click on and pick off. And he mentioned that in his halftime interview with Trey. He said, he's been making some mistakes and I need to capitalize on them. And wasn't able to do it here. Hopefully he can get it right now. We got to pick fourth and seven, Coltrane. Yeah, at the 42 yard line. Figgy needs to stop. He brings the blitz to Davion Clowney. Wow. Forget about it. Screen team right there from Figarello. Look at all these goons come in. It's got one, two, three. Three goons around the quarterback. That was all or nothing. He sent the kitchen sink, and now he's got the ball. It will break a tackle with Jimmy Graham, and Jimmy Graham knocked out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Second and four. Boy, how big was that missed field goal off the crossbar? Oh, that would have been huge for Fig right there if he could have converted that one. But it should be a four-point game right now. No, you can't think like that, though, Coltrane. It's in the past. You can only control what you can control. Right now, if you think you just got to move on forward. And David Johnson takes it to the 26-yard line just outside the red zone. First and 10. A new set of downs for Figgy. Look at Figgy's control. That's time. Playmakers. And that was interesting. He playmakered to take the defender away so he can run for the first down. Yeah, Dubby has to, they have, the defense has to respect that playmaker, clear out the sideline, roll out with your quarterback, get some yards. High points it, and it's well overthrown, RG. He had him. Well, Jimmy Graham, the big former hoopster. Well, we know that's one of the risks with that high point pass. Everybody loves to use it, but you use it, it increases your chance at an inaccurate throw, even with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. Second and 10. Throws this one out of the end zone as well. Away. He has time. He just has to make the right read. Well, Dubby's continuing to play that cross man style defense. He's calling DB strike, but he's refusing to send the strike team. These are the goons right there, those outside corners. That's your strike team. 12 of 17, 119 yards and a touchdown. He needs another one here. Third and 10. He keeps having them, just dropping the coverage. This is the play. You either get a first down or a touchdown, or you're back to kicking field goals. Rodgers. Can't force it, though. Can't force it. You can't force that thing. Well, Deion Sanders was wide open. The only problem is he plays for Dubby. Oh, my goodness, Coltrane. They say you can't throw late across the middle in football, and that is a huge mistake right there by Fig. You're in third down situation. Throw the ball away if you need to. Kick your three, make it a one possession ball game. You have any drama mean on you? I'm sick. He gets no points. He, Once if again. If you're sick, how do you think he feels? That's, that's a disgusting feeling. That was a mistake. Should have had a field goal before the half. Should have had at least a field goal there. That would have made it a one possession game. And now Dubby. No harm, no foul. He's got the ball again. The problem with those mistakes, Coltrane, is you can't blame them on anybody but yourself. Sure. That was just all Figgy's fault in that situation. And th those are a tough pill to swallow. He's, he knows he's a better player than that. Just had a mental lapse in that situation. And he might pay for that. They call bad throws. Todd's, Stevie's. Got to watch out or they might be calling them Figgy's. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Got a nine play, 86 yard drive for Mills. Wow. Balling out over here, 24 17. He's up over him. Mills scoring 24 is like Farrell scoring 100. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, he doesn't score a lot of points. And Mills will be the first to admit yeah, that to you. Yeah, absolutely. He has a 32 ranked defense. 
I mean, offense, yeah. as far as salary cap goes, but he's made it work. Yeah, no, his goal is to get stops in your territory and then take his three if he needs to. So we got almost a minute left here in the third. Dubby needs a Hollywood win, which is not going his way. He is at, at, at a 10-point lead right now. And he's got to win by six. So he's up by 10 right now. He's got to protect that lead and hope Hollywood can give him a little mad magic. Yeah, and it's all about moving on to that yeah. final 16 cold Survive training. and advance. We've seen a problem you know, time and time again go one and two in a group and move on. Yes, we have However seen. you do it, doesn't matter. And we've said it, making that 16 guarantees yourself $10,000. And then once you're in that 16, you pretty much double your money with each win. You win your first game in that final 16, you guarantee yourself uh, $20,000. You win that game, you guarantee yourself $35,000. You win that, guarantee yourself seventy. dollars So there's real money to be made here, Coltrane. And Dubby can sniff it from here. He knows he wants it. He wants to get into that 16 to make a run. Second and nine. Going to need some help. He's going to have to run a play here. One second difference between the game and the play clock. Might have hiked that too McNabb. early. Yeah. Finds Cook, though. Cook takes a big hit from Landon Collins. Throw up your fours, RG. We're headed to the fourth quarter in the final game of Group G. Dubby needs a W plus six point point differential, and he needs Hollywood to win as well. So I'm actually staring down my man Zach from across the room. I know he'll bring the good news. Well, good or bad news depends on who you're rooting for here. <laughs> exactly. Five minutes to go in this one, Ricky Williams. You think two field goals, that's six points. That's what Figgy's left out there. And one of his field goals led to a last second field goal by Dubby. Yep. Should be a four point game, RG. It should actually be a one point game at the worst for Figgy, but he's managed to work it into a 10 point deficit. Second and four. There's some costly mistakes. The, the, th the turnover in the red zone, tanking his kicker and then missing the field goal. It's a GM mistake right there. Hands it off to Williams. Check out this big mistake if you're just joining us, RG. Here was the throw. What are you doing? Third and ten is time left. Big time interception. They easily made it a one possession game. Yep. So much time. And your, and your whole mindset's different for Dubby, too. Dubby knows the math. And he's going to, Dubby is a veteran right here. You see that play clock in your top yeah. right? Every play. Started in the third quarter, chewing it up. Letting it go all the way down. One hike, veteran. Goes to Cook. Points. How many times has he ran that play? Let's go to Zach with a game break. You are looking live at the Hollywood game. He's down by seven in the fourth quarter, four minutes to go, but he's got the ball. Here, Aaron looking, searching, sack lunch, fumble, Ruski, lineman picks it up. Scott, if this one results in any points, I will make sure to let you guys know. That well, was an offsides on Willie Brown, so no harm, no foul. He's going to get a chance to do it again, but W really needs Hollywood to tie it up down there. This is what comes into my mind, and you played a lot, RG. If, if, if you're Hollywood, do you want W to move on? That's a really good I mean, does question. that does that come into your mind? Are you that diabolical? Well, here's the thing. Yeah. After I just put hands on W <laughs> when I did it from Hollywood, I have no problem at all. Going three and zero. Three and zero is yeah, always yeah, the goal. I want three and zero, and it's fine for him to move on because I know I can beat him. Not only did I beat him, I beat the brakes off of him pretty much. So, it was, if you're Holly, that's something you have to think yeah. about. But in this situation, Turn. I think he's going to. No going doubt, to turn into a. Uh, Woodshed game between those two guys in our premier match of Group G. McNabb fits it into Moss at the five. That's what's going on here, Zach. What's going on with you? Ezekiel Elliott burnt Dubby once today on the long run, but here he might save him a 21-yard big boy run in Hollywood. Can't believe it. He ties the game, though. He's in a tight game over there, Zach. It looks like he's just... Sitting in his recliner on a Sunday, enjoying the game. Yeah, having some good time. A little smile on his face. 2-0. and oh. Takes a lead in the third game. Well, while we're hanging out, we've seen the entire third quarter almost go by. We're almost at the two-minute warning. Back to Ricky Williams, and there's the touchdown. 
That was biblical. That was a biblical drive by Dub Dub Dub. The clock management, the execution, and look at the emotion on his face. That's the needed face. Oh That's my. the needed face. Oh, if you saw that face of your Hollywood, you might rethink winning that game. He almost blocks That's the extra point, but that gets away, and now it's a 17 point difference in Ricky Williams. Said walking right. into the end zone. You said it right, though, Cole. That was the needed face. That's that look in Dubby's eye that he had when he won Madden Ball. It's over there bobbing his head. He yeah, might... he, when he threw that pass on problem for a touchdown, that was that face. That was the face. Same the face. little flex. He, he's, he's getting into it. And that could be trouble for the rest of the competitors. He's a streaky player. And when he gets hot, not many people are better. I tell you what, the thing that excites me the most is the throwaway here. These youngsters, True Boy, Kiv, you got Figgy here who's coming on. I'll give you two names that many people don't even know about. Joel, Drini. These just, are some guys that are coming up. Yeah, just played in the finals of an underground tournament. In New York. We, yeah, Drini wins that tournament. Yep. And these are guys that aren't even 18 years old yet. Yep. So, so you gotta you gotta think once they meet the age requirements to play in the Madden Championship. Well, we'll be see seeing some of them next year. Madden's in good hands and almost picked off by Ooh, Dubby, and my main man Figgy has fourth in the game. Yeah, fourth in game. It's already looking like a lost cause for him. But you know what? You fight till the very end when you make it here to the Madden Championship. About to take that L, and I'm not talking about Cool J. <laughs> Rolls out with Rodgers. Looking deep. And it's. You tell me. <laughs> it's dropped. It's dropped. Turned over. I love it. Let's go over Zach with a game break. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Got two minute warning in the fourth quarter. Hollywood steps up for Dubby. Woo. Wow. This is unbelievable. He's going to go start off this group 0 and 2. Huh? And might squeak his way out. If you win that game for Dubby, if you're Holly, do you give him the Odell Beckham jersey and say, I expect you to wear this? He said you'd wear it all year. Yep. If you could advance. Could you imagine Dub Dot Dubby showing up to work in an Odell jersey? <laughs> Let's go to Zach with a very important game break. We are looking live at a third and one minute 30 to go. Hollywood's got the rock. Can he run it for the first down? Mills trying to get the stop, and Ezekiel Elliott takes it down to the three-yard line. That's where Mills is going to take his first time out, Scott. So 24-24 over there. Dubby is in the lead, has secured his spot. If Hollywood can break the tie over in that game that Zach is glued to. Yeah, that, this, this game is over. We're about to see a knee. Interested in that Mills Hollywood ending over there. Very interested, Scott. And he will just lay down at the eight yard line. And although these guys live 80 miles apart, maybe a mentor mentor e moment right here between these two Philly fans. Yeah, look at them. Show of respect, but immediately W walking over to the other side of the <laughs> stage to see what is going on in that Hollywood game. And he. He just sees Hollywood score a touchdown, and there was a sigh of relief from Dubby on the stage. This is a big minute and 11 we got coming up, Coltrane. Well, Zach has been watching it the whole time. Zach, bring us up to date, man. It's been a roller coaster ride. Scott back and forth. Hollywood three times makes Mills Burns all his timeouts, runs the ball, finally punches it in on an outside toss. Here's the run wide open Ezekiel Elliott did big things for Mills against Dubby but now he's saving Dubby Zeke to the outside takes the seven point lead and now Mills has one minute eight seconds no time outs I got Rico here with me we're gonna fill you in on this last minute he's got to go 77 yards Dubby watching patiently Big hit there, forces it loose. That was a big hit, but there were people running open everywhere. Hollywood needs to make some adjustments on defense if he's looking to pull out this win. Hollywood has been consistently sending six, gassing it up over and over and over and over. And there you see that pressure burst pipes 
Mills, just 11 of 23. And it's a being applied right now by Hollywood. New York is helping Philly. Philly needs help in New York. Is this the NFC East or the Mad Championship? W will have no problem donning that Odell Beckham jersey if Hollywood can save him. Here, Ooh. a big third and ten coming up. Some might say that W, since coming to Hollywood, has gotten a little more flashy with the shades, doing the Manziel in his profile photo. Huge play, fourth and ten. You're going to see some big-time emotion here from if, all players in Group G. If Hollywood gets this stop, we may see W die the top of his hair blonde. Let's see how he goes. A stop is needed here on fourth and ten. 57 seconds to go. A five-game losing streak for Dubby just snapped against Figgy, and he just needs one more win from Holly to get this victory. Philly, Dubby, Brian Dawkins on his team. Watch Brian Dawkins make a play for Dubby. Stand up one time, fourth and ten. Mills trying to convert, keep his hopes and dreams alive here in the Madden Championship. Mills known for a defensive specialist needing to make something happen on offense. 57 seconds. Oh my goodness, he converted it and he's moving with 30 seconds. And 40, 45 seconds left, the conversion is unbelievably close. He gets it and now he's looking to go downfield. He's been throwing these all day and Brian Dawkins seals the victory for Dubby and Hollywood. You gotta love how Hollywood, the two user picks he had on the back-to-back -back drives, have sealed that game for him. Hollywood has shown that he's been consistent on both sides of the ball as it's gone on today. I've never seen a Philly fan root for the Giants so hard. Has he been moved to tears? Is it because he won or because he had to root for the Giants? <laughs> We don't know. What we do know, though, is Hollywood is going to close this out with a kneel. <laughs> Amazing performance from Hollywood to fight in that game against Mills. Put up 31. And Group G, Dave, is out of control. Guess what Hollywood's having for dinner tonight? Whatever Dubby buys him? Absolutely correct. <laughs> Whatever he wants, because Dubby is definitely buying dinner tonight. Ezekiel Elliott should get fed as well, Dave. And speaking of that, you got to tip your hat to Mills. Mills fought all day long. Known as a defensive specialist, he had the Rocky going. He played tough with everybody. He'll be back, and he'll be a force to be reckoned with. All right, well, we're going to head on over to Drea. She's with the Philly Hero right now. Thank you so much, Rico. Well, Dubby, you had to win, and then you needed Hollywood to win. How was it just rooting for Hollywood in a situation like this? It was amazing. <laughs> that was, I mean, that meant a lot. You know, it really, it was, it didn't matter who it was, but mm -hmm. for him to win, for, for, you know, for me to be one and two and lose two games, you're really down in the dumps. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I knew how many points I needed to go into the game, and I played really well the last game. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept looking over there. Once I knew that game was in hand, I was worried about that game. And then room for him, you know, that last play, I mean, that was as big as me winning in any game I ever won before. Like, you know, shoot. Talk to me about the high anxiety. I got my arm on your back, and you're sweating like I've never felt before. Just this moment, the anxiety, and just your emotions. I mean, it just it's a roller coaster, you know. I went the, the first game was a battle. I lost. You know, that really disappointed me because I wanted to win the first game. I mm -hmm. thought I should. Then I lost the Holly game, you know, and so I'm 0-2. Mm -hmm. So I need help. I need to score so many points, and you know, to mm -hmm. win. And then have that happen, really, just it's an emotional over overload. No doubt. And you're one and two, but you still made it on to the final 16. It doesn't matter how you get there. The fact is, you are going to be there. Yes. What do you want to say about this moment? I mean, one and two, two and one, three and zero. Oh, you know, I, so far I'm undefeated in live event single elimination. I just had to get out of this, <laughs> but I'm undefeated, three and zero oh, in live event single elimination. So that's where I shine. So thank God I got out of this. <laughs> so I can relax. You know, the stress is over for probably about three days, and everybody will come here and I'll start not being able to sleep again. You know, I love it, and I'm just ecstatic to be here another week. 
Well, luck is a big thing in Madden. Did you get lucky today? Keep it 100. Not at all. I didn't get lucky. I didn't get any fumbles. I needed a lot of help. <laughs> uh, I didn't get any. I'm about to stop saying need because I'm not getting anything, you know. But mm -hmm. nah, I didn't get any. They didn't get too many lucky things either. You know, they were clean games of man. I have nothing to complain. The game is amazing, EA. Mm -hmm. Don't stop doing what you're doing. I love you guys. The game is A1. You should get tons of rewards for how great Madden is. I never complain. No doubt. Well, it's time for you to go and thank Hollywood. Get that Odell Beckham jersey on. We want to see the oh, pictures no, I'm my own on Beckham. social media. And I'm going to have a Beckham jersey. I'm going to dye my hair blonde. I might You're even, a fan now? Me and Holly going to a Giants game next year. We, oh, for real? We're going front row. It's on me. We there. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. I'm in shock. I have to send it to Dave, Rico, and Zach because I'm in too much shock right now. <laughs> That's like. Thank you, Drea.